What's the ending sound? Da. What's the beginning sound? B. What's the middle sound? E. Which E? E A says E. Now let's say the bake, steak, feed, and help. Feed, steak, help. The E A and help now says A. The E A and steak now says A. The E A and B now says E. First of all, when children learn logic, they no longer guess. Then you will get students to say, I notice, I conclude that EA has three sounds. What are those sounds? EA as in beat, EA as in help, long A as in steak. Remember we said the vowel before the TCH is always short. The vowel before DGE is always short. The vowel before NK and G. Okay, Alan, let's make that word say batch. What's the ending sound? Ch What's the rule? The vowel before the TCH is always short. What's your middle vowel sound? Eh. What's the beginning sound? Bat. Sound, ba. Sound, eh. Sound, ch, word, batch. Sound, ch, sound, eh. Sound, ba, word, batch. Here, dodge. The, ah. Sound, ja. What's the rule? The vowel before the DGE ja is always short. Odd, ah, da. Sound, da. Sound, ah. Sound, ja. What's the rule? The vowel signal E changes G to J. Again, by going through this method every single day, you will note that when children write, they no longer guess at sounding the words. They are actually using the rules they've learned. What's the rule before NG? The vowel before NG is always usually short. Let's make that say sling. Hey, sound sla, sound a, sound a. What's the rule? The vowel before the ng is usually short, and the word is sling. Then go over the words again with the entire class. A bake, a steak, e beat, a help, a batch, a dodge, a Sling. Then the next pattern we are going to go through after using all of the wall cards is to have children come to the chalkboard. First of all, this alleviates discipline problem. When children are sitting with worksheets, then they really do not have to pay attention, but the entire class is now asked to participate in the learning process. Okay, Monica, come to the board. Now the next stage is dictation. Okay, and I will dictate a sentence to the child. Bake the cake, and the child will write the sentence. Remember, all sentences begin with a capital letter. Bake. Use our macron to show that we mark long vowels with the macron. The, that's our swa sound we talked about, it says a. Uh. Actually, logic can be taught in reading, spelling, and everything that children do. It really alleviates the guessing process. Bake the Cake. Okay, now proofread with her to make certain that she all of the words are spelled correctly. Bake the cake. Okay. Now we'll call child two. Okay, C double E the
punctuation, a period. You're teaching punctuation, spelling, writing, all simultaneously. See the bumblebee. Even when erasing the board, Monica, come and erase the word that says bank. Robert, come and erase the word that says cake. Alan, erase the last word on line one. Jonathan, come and erase the word which means to look or to visualize. Come and erase the word that means an insect. And come and erase the last word. If you notice, even an erase in the board becomes an activity. Now, the next process in the same series, it's repetition drill, is proofreading. <coughs> <I'm Now, children now will be volunteers or the teacher will call children to come and proofread the words. Now they've become accustomed to proofreading their work before turning it in. The next stage with the same phonetic wall cards. the sentences. Okay, class, what one word tells something? Who's doing something? I. That's your subject. You begin this in kindergarten. Anything you repetitiously do over and over again, children, but you, what you're doing is fertilizing the soil for great crops to grow. I, what do I do? That's your subject. I, what? See, that's your verb. What do you see? I see shirts. How many shirts? Five. And diagramming sentences, it teaches children really to proofread their own work, to write sentences that make sense. What's your subject? I. Who's doing something? I. I does what? C. See what? Shirts. How many shirts? Five. Your subject is I. Your verb is C, your direct object is shirts, and how many shirts? Again, not only does this method teach children to read, it teaches them logic, it teaches specificities in writing, it alleviates uh, misspelled words because they learn to proofread their own work. Meanwhile, it keeps every child in the classroom are given complete attention because they never know when they're going to be next. Again, the more we keep every student involved, the less behavioral problems we're going to have. Now we're going to take children through some of the phonetic words we've gone over before. Bag and beige, bag and beige, the vowel signal E changes G to J. The vowel signal E changes G to J. Cut and cute, cut and cute. The vowel signal E hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. 
Rob and Ruby. Rob and Ruby. The vowel signal Y hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. Rug and Rouge. Rug and Rouge. The vowel signal E changes G to J. It's actually, they're learning the rules, the spelling and phonetic rules, and they're also learning the word attack skills. Fan and find. Fan and find. The vowel signal E hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. Dim and dime. Dim and dime. The vowel signal E hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. Act and action. Act and action. The T I in action now says shh has the same sound as sugar. So it looks nothing like that. Okay? The T I now says shh. The same with mission. S I O N says shh has the same sound as shall. Mission and shall. Mission and shall. The S I in mission now says shh. The S H in shall now says shh. The S in sugar now says shh. The S in shh as same sound as in shall. Sugar and shell, sugar and shell. The S in sugar now says shh. The S in shell now says shh. Now we, first of all, when there's continuity, children know what page we're on. Alan, come to the board and erase the word that says rug. Monica, come and erase the word that says cut. Oh, I made a mistake. You have to really watch me. See, I'm not as bright as you boys and girls. That's why you have to pay attention. So when I make a mistake, you can say, Mrs. Collins, you've made a mistake. Erase the word that says rub. Erase the word that says rouge. Erase the word that's a nickel, one nickel more. Two of these will make this. Erase that word. If you notice, you can teach word meaning. As, as the same as phonetic. Erase the word that means not very bright, and that's dim. Erase the word that means to plead, to cajole. That word is big. And throughout the entire process. Now we're going to take the same words and dictate sentences to the children. 